So this is the X carrier on the X axis. I only have one one side attached at this point, just for just loose, no screws. So this is the idler bracket, and this is the Y carrier. Uh, no fork uh, at this point. Currently printing those. I have the fork here, and so this guy just slides on. And what I what I need to tell you is that I did experience um, some binding here when I tried to add the X carrier. So I actually had to to drill up the holes for the wheels because as they are vertical printed they tend to fall down a little bit so they was a little bit too tight so the wheels didn't actually uh, the wheels was a little bit too low on the carrier so that was interesting I'm gonna go into the design and I'm gonna make the holes a little bit bigger so you don't have to do that later but if you find it difficult to slide the x carrier onto the x axis you might want to just uh, drill up the holes just a little bit i used a 5.5 5 millimeter drill bore so yeah and now it slides like uh, butter so I need to tighten, of course, the thumb screw. So we get a little bit of tension. The bottom wheel should be a little bit tight when you try to turn it, holding the carrier. So just tighten the... Now it's tight. This is perfect. Now if I try to turn the wheel, the carrier moves, you can see, then it's perfect. So, and it will also give, give a little bit with time, so you might have to tighten, re-tighten this thumb screw a little bit. Um, so this is perfect tension, it slides fine and yeah, everything is good. So that's a little bit on mounting the X carrier to the x-axis so let's get this on the frame uh, soon thank you guys go make something